we go. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, do I? Anyway, welcome to you're in my cupboard at the moment. So what I am going to do is finish off do the last meal of my HelloFresh box. Not HelloFresh, um every plate box that I dug by last week. Um because of going out and doing other things, we ended up with the last meal still in my box today. So I'm cooking that up for lunch and it's And it's a creamy pesto and vegetable farfel with feta. And the ingredients is a zucchini, capsicum and onions. I've chopped them up. They're already in the oven roasting up. Did that a bit earlier. A couple of cloves of garlic, some farfel pasta, which comes in the beautiful Pack it again. Yay! Um, sometime while we're doing this, the next week's box should arrive too, so we can unpack that together. Um, so I fell some cooking cream. Um, I don't think it was included in this week's box, and I didn't check it when I got it. So fortunately, I had a leftover one in the freezer, so I'm using that. Been defrosting on the bench. Some pesto, veggie powder, veggie stock powder. It doesn't mix leaves, but I've got spinach leaves. I don't know what other leaves you put in there. If you, if you did, I just assume you just use spinach. Um, some feta cubes to go on the top and be all yummy. Um, yeah, so I reckon eat me early. I don't know why. Maybe. Oh, and if you've got the, some, you've got an option in these recipes to um, add things like chicken breast, and um, I didn't because I'm cheap. I'm just going to do something. Can I? Woo! I'm just learning. I, so I've opened um, this on... Yep, so I've opened this on... Um, ah, there we go. There's the chat. Pop that up. Um, I've opened this on Streamlabs on my phone for the first time. So that's why you have a beautiful little border. Um, but now I've just popped up chat so I can see what's going on in chat. So if you're there, say hi so I can know who's perving on me. Um, then we'll get to it. So I've just got to. So we've got the the veggies in the oven. So now we need to cook the pasta and do the sauce. So not much left to do, but um, I've just made Bruce a bacon and egg roll for his brunch. And he's gone off to work, but I'm going to wipe out the pan. I'm not going to clean it much, just wipe it out. Um, I'll use the grease that's already in there. Free grease. And I don't think I'm using paper towel for everything. I like paper towel. It does my job for me. Cleans it up. So, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> baking grease. So... Pasta, so I'm going to spot this with oh, 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 water. Oh, I, I like dried pasta. Um, definitely like acidic raw spaghetti all the time as a kid and now that I cook, do the cooking I get to eat it whenever I want other good raw things frozen peas, love frozen peas love me some frozen peas and what else is good? I mean raw stuff's better like raw veggies, crunchier, yum yum yum. I used to hate carrot as a kid because I'd only had it mushy and it's gross. 
so when I realised you could edit raw, set. Um, yeah, so I'll just pop the pasta on. Uh, if someone puts salt in your big tub of iodized salt from Aldi, Aldi, yeah. If someone put salt in their um, pasta, I don't know, I don't know if it makes it better. Uh, a bit more water in that. There, a bit more in that, we're good to go, and I'm going to um, do the garlic. So I've got my little garlic press that's really quite solid. I don't know where I go. Oh, it's got margarine on it. Um, two big cloves of garlic. I tend to chop my clothes in half and, you know, get the nut off the end and strip the peel off and then chuck them in. Like that. Um, I really need to get a new drink bottle. Um, I have a few ones from my old workplace lying around that I'll post no steps on and they kind of make me feel bad when I use them so I don't use them. They make me feel like a bad person because it's not Anyway, we're going to talk about that. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I found a confidentiality thing. So what I've got to do for the sauce here Done the veggies. I'll show you them in a minute once I've got a bit of space to work with. Um, in a live frying pan, I heat a drizzle of olive oil, cook garlic in front until fragrant, it's own cream, basil, pestle, vegetables, stuff, and cooked. Um, stir through pasta, add a splash of pasta, water, and add veggies. So, this is going to be really quick, this part. Um, so, I'm just going to clean the bench so I can use it. Mm -hmm. Just had to um, this is at Coles to no, we were at the um, Bruce need to return a jet ski part that he ordered. In, because they didn't need it. It was like five hundred dollar part they didn't need, so he's returning it. 
Um, so we just post our first and grab milk and fresh bread rolls and they smell so good. It smells so good, the whole yummy fresh ones. I rarely get fresh bread rolls because I rely on the free ones I get from the food bank. And they go in the freezer for a couple of weeks. But we're actually out and mm, can't I mean they're cheap but extra luxury. So his steak and egg rollers would have been extra yummy this morning and it was made by with love by me. I'll have to um and if you're lucky I'll I'll do a live bacon and egg roll one day, but we'll see. in general and I've cleaned out the um, crisper. Cleaned out the crisper to put the fresh ingredients in when I when they arrive shortly. So it's there about 11.30, between 11.30 and 12.30 so any time now it could arrive. I'm going to wait for that pasta to get boiling but let's see. I want to show you the veggies and how they're going. So my other like other thing is lemons. So I love lemon, love to eat lemons. Don't eat the rind, that's weird. Um no, if you want to say that's weird, my auntie eats the rind, but love stuff yummy lemon. So um my other kitchen theme aside from all of anything cute or purple. So anything cute, purple, cats, um, lemon stuff, that's my other kitchen thing. So lemon mitts, lemon rug. I want to get more lemon stuff, but yeah, that's my thing. Let's check out these um. So yeah, so I mean they don't look great, but they look better if that was um red pepper, red um capsicum. But I think that's fine, and I think the colour from the from the red onion's great. That pasta's starting to think about boiling, so I'll just move that. We'll put that over the way up. I was just about to reach for it with my hand, so my hand. I've got some purple and green nails. We'll move you over here, Mister. Um, almost there. What's there? We go. So the rest of the ingredients are over here. I've got. Yep, my cooking cream seems to have um defrosted well enough. So that comes like that. So that's been in the freezer because it was leftover from a recipe I didn't end up making. Some basil pesto. A little thing of feta. And baby spinach. So it's still in date by a day, that's alright. Not too bad. Let's go say hello to Maxie while we're waiting for that pasta to get going too. Hey Maxie, how you going? You say hello? No, I'm not going to say hello. There's going to be a dog here on my giant Snorlax. Yeah, you're a good boy. And that's the boat Bruce is working on. Well, not at the moment, obviously he's not here, but it's a bit of a bitch to clean. My wonderful clothesline and all its colours, and my Hello Kitty Falcon Fairlane. Yeah, coffee me chat. See, the kitchen really looks clean if I actually clean that up. But for now, we do what we do. Work you on charge. Yep, okay. There you are. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. So forgive me for all the wonkiness. Um, pasta's 
done it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? I should have put the hot water on and then boiled the pasta. Uh, I'm too busy. I was too used to cooking potatoes. Anyway, pasta's nearly cooked anyway, so let's get this, um, get this, um, fry pan heated up and cook up the, the sauce. the olive oil unless otherwise specified it's probably from Aldi in this house been way more productive than I was planning on being this morning. So got that load of washing out, done all the dishes. Start adjusting for the light man. Um cleaned out the fridge. Been up to the shops, got milk, made Bruce some food. Just kicking goals. Um had a shower. Dress. Now I'm making a nice cooked lunch. Yeah, well why not? Colour there as you go. I think it has wax, candle wax in it. Some tiny little wine glasses. They're like from tasting. And I don't drink anymore, but Bruce uses these and it really helps with like just having a small amount and not overdoing it. Also, it's great. It's great shape, all that sort of stuff. So, small bit of red wine. Taste glasses. You can usually get them from your, um, no, these are probably mostly, these are all from Salos. I know. We don't, I don't really want to support the salvos, but they've got good stuff at good prices up at Dallas. Salvos. Same with this mug, that was probably from there too. Oh, this egg cup was from um, Aldi. Free with um, beer purchase, I'm sure. garlic in the pan. Mmm, that smells delicious. Garlic in the pan and then yes, the easy bit. This isn't really cooking, this is just a simple. But I still feel like I've cooked something. Turn the pan down already. I don't want to 
amount of the, in the cream. Nutty and zesty condiment infused with fragrant basil and parmesan. Mm. Oh, yum, that's nice. Here, have a quick look. There you go. That's the basil and the cream. That's the good stuff. A little sachet of veggie stock. Again, you say the way I say convenient, easy. Um, I don't have to crush it. Accessible. Um, these pillows aren't really easy, but yeah, you can just snip them open, most of these things. Strain some pasta. of having the tray, um, the skid fingers, but I'm cooking for Bruce and me, whatever. Um, baking paper, just lift it up, drop it in, straight down in the bit, and that tray is basically ready to go again. And I'll put some spinach leaves in. So it's still on low at the moment, so I can um, put the leaves through. Pesto pasta, we've got the onion, capsicum, zucchini, so making sure that's nice and warm as well. So that'll just stir through and I'll plate it up with some feta in a minute. And I'll show you that and we'll eat. So yeah, a little packet of feta, I'll just put all that on, crumble that on top. Add salt and pepper to taste. I don't really use much on top of what's needed for the recipe. So I don't really think that that needs um, any added um, um, what's the word? Our uh, pasta water. So sometimes they ask you to just put them aside and then add it in if it needs a bit more. But I think it's fine. So I'll just do one plate, since it's just for me. I'll leave the rest in here and I'll either Bruce can eat it later or I'll eat it up for lunch tomorrow. Um but group tomorrow, so it starts at one and I'm not usually quite hungry by then, so I, if I can zap this to eat for for um this is 
have this to eat in the break at 2 o'clock or, you know, studying it in the break and then I'm ready to go. I'm supposed to crumble them over, but whatever. Presentation is not my strong point. And there we have it. My vegetable pasta cooking um, for lunch. So I'm going to eat that while I wait for the plate, the box to arrive. I'm going to unbox that together. You can stay with me. Do a pause on this just to stop. No. Oh, there's advanced settings. What does that do? No, I don't want to. I won't. No, we won't do advanced settings today. I'll ruin everything. Fuck. This is all we need. Now let's go eat this. And hopefully we can then um unbox the Hopefully then we can unbox the rest of the, the next next week's food together. So being a bit of dark here, I'm gonna put you on my desk on my phone. Like a legend. Oh, how are we going? <gasps> Nearly? There we go. So, pasta farfell. Probably should take a photo of it too. <sighs> no, I can't because the camera's in use, but it's okay. I'll take a photo of it when I play that Bruce later. And that can go on my um, Instagram, eh? What would be really cool is if I can manage to, um, 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 I don't know, switch over to Streamlabs web without losing continuity. I've done it before. Right. Kind of started streaming on the, on the desktop version and, hmm. Maybe I could talk to the onion a bit more. I didn't want to overcook it because I've got this habit of, um, yeah, making it this dry, crunchy stuff. Just kept a bit of flavour in it. That's cool. Yeah, let's see what See how um with regular streams going. Well we eat. So she really looks like one of my friends from high school. Now I really want to play that game that you made. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, she's currently playing. Playing for Joey's. Oh, she's doing it. Yep, she's still doing it. Um. Stream for Make a Wish Foundation. So head over to Ms. Redpool. Um, M S R A D T O R E, and send her some love. Oh no, that to me there, so we'll just do that. I can do this, so... Um, I wonder how I do this. So, she's... Here's red core. Does this work, if I do that? Ooh, look at we go. I put a link in the chat. Look, here we go. So she's doing a um, charity stream at the moment. So if you feel like bailing on me and want to see what else is going on, go over to her. Um, so she's um, 
I think Melbourne most came up. Um, and so she's streaming for Make a Wish Foundation this week, or well, this weekend. I think it was also birthday on yesterday, so happy birthday, Ms. Red Cool. Um, um Sammy wants to play the game. Game of the Year. Agreed. Agreed. Definitely Game of the Year. Definitely Game of the Year. I like this feta. The feta is a nice little extra bonus. It makes it. Hey, it's funny because it's nice to see you. There is no understanding of what the, like, the way I saw things. Because, yes, we're not wrong. We're not wrong. Hey, hey, Meta. Where are you going? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? How was your stream? Um, I'm not sure if uh, Egan actually is back. I think we're going back to school. My lovely people that are here, if you don't know came at it by now, please uh, give them a follow, give them some love. I'd really, really appreciate that. How are you going? How was your stream? What did you get up today? More kitties, more potatoes, more curses. <laughs> it is pretty cursed. In the most beautiful way possible, it's, it's definitely cursed. Definitely does. Hey Lara, it's good to see you. Sorry, I think I almost need to put my glasses on today. I'm struggling to like focus on this. Be right back, I'm gonna switch to my phone so I can wind down. Also means typos incoming. Oh dear. <laughs> Please look after yourself. I appreciate I'm you. Careful. I appreciate you. Stream was good. Play Tiny Penis. Nice. Came out of Well, thank you so much for sharing your community here. After playing Tiny Penis. Have you been enjoying it? You've been playing quite a lot. Yes, everybody that just came in on the raid. Hi, hey, hello. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kristen. If you prefer, you can call me Brad. Um, I stream a lot of different things. It just depends what I feel like doing on the day. Today is kind of like a mishmash of many things. Uh, ESO is my main game. I also do like major like first playthroughs. Um, at the moment, we're doing Dragon Age Inquisition mainly. Um, we just played Etsy's Wish Adventure, which I think I'll probably play one more round of and see if I can get a bit better at. Um, this was created uh, as part of the Make a Wish Foundation uh, with playing for Joey's. Nungi and Spudgun made this the other. Um, we usually get like a credit video at the end of Make a Wish Foundation, and this was like instead of a credit video because all the streamers that were involved, um, yeah, were able to get in here. So this was kind of like fair way of saying thank you to all the streamers that got involved, which is really, really sweet. Um, we're probably going to play another round of this because I'm actually in the middle of re-downloading a game that was made for me for Christmas from Nungi as well, um, which is a little bit less cute and a little bit more cursed. <laughs> um, so let's play another one of these. Um, let's play another one of these. Eshi has fallen asleep waiting for me to choose what I want to do, which is pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Anonymous book in the dear one sub in the two K. An anonymous seems addicted a dear one sub to seen in the two K. So I'm gonna give a little bit of leftovers to Pup Maxi because beautiful, beautiful He's a sook. And he he doesn't mind a good vegetarian meal, as long as it's a bit salty. So let's go see if he's into it today. Yesterday he eventually ate the um Hey Maxi, you want some pasta? I mean, we're disappointed there's no chicken in it, but. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. He's like, oh, that's alright, Fiona. So he's been a bit of a snob lately and won't eat the, um,. Chin dog food from Aldi. You don't want to eat the little pouch things, like the little um, square ones, like dying cat food sort of style, but for dog food. Fortunately, they've had them cheap at the moment. Was that good, Maxi? You're a good boy. Um, so, yeah, he eats scraps and he eats those things. Maxi's got his own wish list over on um, Amazon. He's um, his own wish list over there, so that's a Maxi boy wish list. 
He's like, oh, that was good fun. I thank for that. And I'm going to go back to sleep. I want my Snorlax and wait for Daddy to come home. Or for the, the delivery people to come and get my, um, bring me, bring our food box, hey? They'll be coming soon, sometime in the next little while. 11.53, I think. Should be here in the next half hour or so. So, yeah, we'll put that away. Um, this I'll just leave on the bench for now. Um, Bruce might want it when he comes home. I might just do up a plate, heat that up for him in the microwave when he gets home. Um, tell you what, we'll go out the back for a bit, hey? Let's change this to just chatting. I don't know if she was... No, we won't. We'll keep it on. We'll keep it on food and drink because we're going to have the thing come later. Um, unboxing. Every plate meal box. And chats by the creek. So I'm going to go show you guys my creek. Next, stick it as food and drink. Cool. Continue. There we go, guys. So I'll leave that here for Bruce. Take my water. But we might go and have a look outside at the backyard. At my beautiful creek, if you want to join me. So here we go. Casa de Foma and the backyard creek. So we've got a backyard to the left and various different conditions of boats there. Some out the back as well. The creek and our little blue pontoon that Maxie likes to sit on and chase the ducks and stuff. Then another boat yard next door. Some lovely grass. Some beautiful pink toesies. Hello, toesies. You like the sun, don't you? Caravans on my skirt. I really like this skirt. Whoop, gone upside down. <laughs> um, oh, where's my, my, and my other, um, 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 we must be, oh there he is, down there, there's another Christmas meerkat, so, he's starting to fade a bit, but Christmas meerkat from Woolies, his light glows at night, and this other guy on the floor, he always gets blown off, but the other Christmas meerkats, they really look like my nephews, I reckon they look like my nephews, but, you know, cheeky, little, little round faces. Very cute. Still got some Christmas lights up that I haven't was put down yet. Only, only the ones on the side fence still work. Um, creek's at a sensible level this week. It's been up a lot lately with the 